BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts. The small Devon town of Totnes is known for its warmth and open-mindedness, but something has gone awry. I've been shouted at in the street, I've been accosted and had cameras shoved up my nose and had people drive their cars at me. A fault line has emerged between the minority who've been drawn in by disinformation laced with hate and those who are fighting against it. It's been a bit upsetting to have a town where hippies, who you thought were friends of yours, have crossed very quickly, with only the smallest of encouragement, over to the far right. These are people who were gripped by conspiracy theories during the COVID-19 pandemic. But now, almost everything is a hoax. They hold a range of different beliefs, which many would never act on. But there are others whose views seem to be becoming more extreme. The system's rotten at the core. It's a Frankenstein's monster system that's perpetuating slavery. It should be crushed to its knees. It should be deleted. They went down what we call the rabbit hole, never once considering how they might get out again. I and others here have spent so much of our time trying to save humanity, trying to wake them up, trying to help them. I'm Mariana Spring, the BBC's disinformation and social media correspondent. And in this podcast, I'm venturing into conspiracy land, a reality that gets curiouser and curiouser and has infected towns like Totnes across the UK. I'm exploring the conspiracy theory media in Britain that is key to this movement and the radicalisation that comes with it, even if it means coming face to face with those who don't like me very much. If I was angry, I'd be no, going, I'm just asking you. I'm just whatever. asking. I'm not saying that. That would be angry. Well done, Steve. Well done. At the heart of my investigation is a conspiracy theory newspaper and a telegram channel called The Light, linked to far-right figures and anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. It's part of a parallel universe where everything is topsy-turvy. And some connected to the paper have even called for the execution of journalists, politicians and others who they believe are complicit in these sinister plots. Do you think people here should be hanged? If it's to be found that people are guilty of crimes against humanity, then yes. So I'm tracking down the people behind the light paper to get to the bottom of what's really going on. Do you think that calls for action in the paper, for people to take action to do something, could result in action that is not peaceful? Of course. I mean, people make their own decisions and they need to be responsible for their own actions. As I interrogate this wider alternative media landscape and its connections, I travel from Devon to Staffordshire and all the way to Germany, where even those on the inside of the movement there, one with their own paper, are worried about the escalation. You cannot ask the question, is it okay to get a death penalty for those who made these COVID measures? What are you doing? Yeah, I cannot give my name for that newspaper anymore. At the extreme end, there were conspiracy theory-driven riots at the US Capitol and a coup attempt foiled in Germany. But what's happening in the UK? So many crazy stories have been spread so far and wide that it's hard to see this ending well. I have plenty of time to look about and wonder what is going to happen next. For BBC Radio 4, this is Mariana in Conspiracy Land. (laughs) 